Alumni of the Man Professional Law College, Samya Panwar. So if I have to briefly introduce her, she is an epitome of sincerity and hard work. With her hard work, Samya was able to achieve uh, success in terms of her academics by scoring second position at the CCS University. So let's get started and Soumya, first of all, welcome to your own institution. I hope that it would be a great feeling for you to be back on campus once again after graduating. Truly, ma'am. Uh, first of all, I would like to say good morning. And I am truly honored to be invited by my college here to share my experience. It's my pleasure to be here. Great, Samya. So, Samya, we would want to understand your journey at Asian Law College. Five years is a very long time. And as a student, you tend to gauge a lot in terms of development, personal, professional skills, learnings that come your way. So, how would you define these five years of journey and what kind of change did you see in yourself? Uh, Ma'am, my experience here at Asian Law College has been amazing. One thing, one fundamental thing I would say that college has taught me is that life is anything but certain. It could be good, it can get bad at times, but college prepares you for everything. And most of the experience uh, also depends on how you perceive and respond to things happening around you. Like if it's events are happening, mm -hmm. you're participating, you're definitely going to have a lifetime experience. And if you're not, you're not going to have anything, nothing to remember. Right. So it's very important to push yourself and get out of your comfort zone. I was an introvert. I did not like participating in any event, but here, when I got here in college, I have participated a lot and I think that's a huge change for me. So mm -hmm. I'm very thankful for my college for that. Great. Sama, you rightly mentioned that life is always not certain. I'm sure in these five years, you too would have come across certain uncertainties peer pressure, upside, uh, you know, journey or, and you would have also seen the downside in the journey. How did you constantly overcome these hurdles to shine so bright and with your last year ending with such um, overall grade of achieving second position at the entire university, CCS? Uh, Ma'am, I think uh, uh, it's your life is always about smashing your own goals. You have to outdo your past and not other people. So it's very important to understand you have to stop comparing yourself to others. True. And one thing my mother has taught me and I follow it by my heart. Alasya kuto vidya. It in Hindi means that alsi vyakti ko kabhi vidya nahi aati. And I personally think that's very true. Hmm. Not just in the field of law, you're learning anything. If you're lazy, you cannot be successful at it. Right. So it's very important to work, move. That's what I did. I think a very beautiful quote given by your mother. So yes, I'm sir. intrigued to know, was it your parents? Was it people in the society or some mentors who pushed you or motivated you to pursue law? Or was that out of your own choice? Uh, Ma'am, that's my favorite question. Actually, I did not choose law. Law chose me and I like okay. to believe it that way. Uh, since I was a kid, I was very sure that I was going to be a fashion designer or either a psychologist. Mm -hmm. But uh, after 12th, like every other student, I was very confused. And at that time, you start seeking advice from different people, other people, and you think they are right. And somehow, uh, fashion designing was totally eliminated mm -hmm. because did not feel very safe career option at that very, very particular of uh, time. Mm -hmm. And then I got in Vanasthali Rajasthan for psychology. Okay. But still did not want to leave home. And I missed the dates for CLAT registration too. But then I got to know about Asian Law College. I gave the entrance and now I'm here, Advocate Soumya Pawar. Very nice. From a student who wanted to be a fashion designer yes, who's now turned into an advocate i'm sure this would be a journey to cherish throughout your life sure so how do you now foresee your career ahead being an advocate on date and probably five years or ten years down the line we all know that law is an emerging field and there are various options available which confuses a lot many students after graduation what should they do judiciary corporate llb what should they be doing? So, what are your plans? Uh, first of all, before starting, I would like to say I was asked the same question when I was interviewing here for the admission. Uh, where do you see yourself in next five years? Hmm. And that was the only question I couldn't answer because maybe I wasn't very sure if I'll ever be happy pursuing law because hmm. it was new to me. Uh, nobody in my family is a lawyer. Hmm. 
I'm the first one. So uh, and now I have an answer, and I guess that's what progress is. Um, I'll definitely see myself working at uh, in corporate sector because mm. I personally think that's the suitable place for me. Like sit and just do your work. Uh, other than that, right now I'm preparing for UPSC uh, LEO exam, mm-hmm. and after that I'll be pursue, pursuing pursuing uh, LLM, and again then masters in psychology too. Because why stop? Okay, one key learning or a message which you would like to pass on to your juniors who started their journey at Asian Law College that some things which you missed or probably really utilized well, which they can do uh, in their uh, you know tenure at ALC. use your library i guess uh, that's very important you can have books you have sources then why not because i as a person i am truly grateful that i am privileged but i also understand that there are people who cannot access education let alone be uh, uh, being able to afford education and you have this so please use it right so well, that was a great message honestly saying and thank you so much for sharing your insights samya thank you ma'am. thank you for being here thank you ma'am right.